Hey, it's Chris Brogan from chrisbrogan.com. I have a kind of an interesting little product review, and in all case, all three of these products were sent to me, uh, some of them to give back, some of them not. You may or may not have seen the iFi Wi-Fi card. This is an SD card that fits into uh, digital cameras of all different types. It doesn't have to be something fancy like this big old Nikon D300S. Uh, I could use my Panasonic Lumix and same thing. But it's a Wi-Fi card. So what it does is when you shoot your video or your photos or whatever, it transmits through the SD card up to the web. And it allows you to push these things straight out onto the web. So think if you're kind of a reporter, if you're a small town person, if you're a journalist of some kind, this is allowing you instant access to the web. They gave me this card a little more than a year ago and I didn't do a thing with it. And here's why. It just seemed like a pain in the butt to navigate and negotiate on other places Wi-Fi and figure it all out. And I was just kind of like, wow, this is kind of a hassle. Solved. The, solved by all the different wireless companies who have come up with MiFi, which is named similarly but not the same sort of thing. This one is produced by the company Novatel, and they sent this to me to review, and it's basically you turn it on, and it has a wireless connection. It has like a telecom connection out to the web, and then it allows me to connect up to five different devices to this platform. So I can hook my laptop to this. I can, I can invite a few people to connect up to a MiFi. They're getting really popular at conferences. The Novatel one is pretty nice. It's very simple and basic. I really enjoyed using it because it's just so simple. So get the whole setup. I have to explain the whole setup. I turn on the MiFi. The first time I have to sort of configure things via my laptop so that this iFi card works with this MiFi. I can then turn this on, stick it in my pocket. I can then take this card, stick it into my camera. I can be out on a show floor at a conference shooting pictures and opting to shoot them right up all onto the web no holds barred, just shot right on there. So now if you're kind of a reporter, if you're in an event, if you're covering live, you are shooting live, going through the iFi card onto the MiFi platform and up to the web. You are like a remote traveling machine. Now, it used to be that to get this kind of technology, especially in video, it would cost uh, news companies like $100,000 to roll that truck. So they'd have to decide, oh, all right, we'll, we'll t take this off the budget. We'll eat the $100,000 and roll out. You're talking, you know, that camera that we're shooting this video on, the Lumix, is a $500 camera. So $500 camera, I don't remember the price point on this. The Novatel MiFi doesn't cost a whole lot at all. And the uh, monthly fee is like the same as an air card, a 3G card or something. So it's like between 30 and 50 bucks kind of coverage uh, cost a month. So it's not a ton of money, especially not to get sponsored or something like that, and not to get sort of covered by your magazine. This is a really cool setup, I think. I, I think that there's a lot to how people are going to be using this. And so I was excited to get a chance to try out the Novatel MiFi, the iFi card, and uh, really kind of do the whole rig. Y you can't really see anything. Like if I show you the demo, you're just going to see a bunch of pictures sitting on Flickr. But I was lucky enough to get them through this system onto the web, and it worked out fine. Definitely check it out for yourself. I think it's something worth considering. I'm Chris Brogan from chrisbrogan.com.